The Prime Minister has held meetings with the Chinese Premier on his first full day of the visit. Live to political editor Andrew Clonell in Shanghai. Andrew, hello to you. What has Anthony Albanese had to say? Well, we're here in Shanghai and behind me, Janie, the Prime Minister is giving an address to Australian business leaders and Chinese business leaders who are investing in Australia. He's talking up the return of trade, the return of Chinese visitors, and he's just held a press conference here ahead of this eagerly awaited bilateral meeting with President Xi on Monday night, Australian time here. We all want to know what's going to happen there. That's after he's received in the the great hall of the peoples a couple of weeks after he was received at a state dinner at the White House. So I asked the Prime Minister, well, are you going to act as a bit of an intermediary on some issues between the US and Australia? He said it was a positive thing that both countries would have a dialogue, that they're meeting at APEC, Joe Biden and President Xi, but it wasn't his intention at all to be some form of an intermediary. Prime Minister, do you see uh, an opportunity on this trip uh, to act as something of a facilitator or a bridge between the US and China? You've just met the US President, uh, you're about to meet the Chinese President. Do you, do you see, apart from representing Australia's national interests, an opportunity to uh, thaw the relations between those two powers? Uh, we think improved relations between the United States and China are a good thing. It is good that uh, Secretary Blinken has visited uh, here. It's good that you're having a ministerial level uh, dialogue. It's a good thing that President Xi uh, will travel to APEC. We, though, uh, importantly have a relationship with China, have a relationship with the United States. Uh, it's important that they talk to each other and I don't think that they need an intermediary to do so. The important thing about Australia's relationship and something that my government has brought to our international relations is we say the same thing to the same people in a consistent way. That's how you develop trust. So what approach will the Prime Minister take with President Xi? Well, he said the one that works for him with international diplomacy, and that's being straightforward. Australians are really straightforward. And what I've taken to uh, international engagement is what I've taken to my party room and to the way I engage in Australia. Being up front, being straightforward, having clear objectives, saying what I will do and then doing it. All right, well, we know Anthony Albanese met Chinese Premier Li Qian last night. He was hosted at a state banquet ahead of this International Import Expo. And Premier Li gave a speech at that expo where he said he wanted to open up trade uh, from China's point of view, but he wanted membership of the CTPPP, uh, CPTPP, should I say. And uh, Australia so far opposed that. The Prime Minister said he wasn't going to flag any changes on that ahead of his meeting with President Xi. He wasn't into that sort of uh, diplomacy of announcing what he was doing on a loud hailer first. The Premier's comments were very positive and I welcome them. Uh, we want to see any impediments which are there uh, for our trade uh, to be uh, removed and dealt with. The way that I deal with things is to have meetings with people. Uh, when we have meetings, not to foreshadow in press conferences what will happen in those meetings. The way that you deal and the way that we've improved relations with countries is by having respectful relations with them and respectful discussions with them. All right, well, it appears the Australian government's pretty confident that the sanction on wine's being lifted. So there are two big sanctions left in terms of China's actions against Australia. That's on beef and lobster. Spoke to the Trade Minister Don Farrell last evening here in Shanghai, and he is very confident that our this Prime Minister will visit. They'll be lifted, those sanctions, soon enough. It was $20 billion worth of impediments. Uh, with the recent announcement uh, in respect of wine, that's down to uh, $1 billion. Um, we're hopeful that as a result of this visit that we can get that down to, uh, to zero 
and that the remaining impediments, uh, lobster and, uh, uh, and beef, uh, will be removed. So there's a big Australian business delegation here at this expo. Bram Black's the new head of the Business Council of Australia. He said the Prime Minister's trip was a positive sign. Yeah, we're really happy with it. We're, we're, we're very pleased to see that emphasis on stabilising the relationship. The feedback that we've been getting from uh, Chinese businesses operating into Australia, um, from the Chinese government, but also um, from Australian businesses operating into China, is that they want to see those stabilisation opportunities and they want to see uh, the opportunity, if they can, to enhance those relationships as well. So, Janie, there it is. Plenty on the Prime Minister's plate already. He's uh, glad handling all over the place, but really the peak of this trip is tomorrow evening, that meeting with President Xi and what comes out of it. And we'll tell you everything you need to know on Sky News. All right. We look forward to it as always. Thanks so much, Andrew Clennell, live in Shanghai.